What's a euro dollar? Is that a dollar in Europe? Hi, I'm Doug Carroll from InsidersGuideToFinance.com here today to speak to you about euro dollars, which is a very large, important piece of the global financial markets that is a mystery to those who haven't been introduced to it before. Now, there's actually two segments to the euro dollar market. There's both euro dollar securities and euro dollar deposits. To keep this discussion to a manageable length, let's focus on euro dollar deposits. A euro dollar deposit is a dollar denominated deposit at a bank outside of the United States. Not necessarily in Europe, any bank outside of the United States. So for instance, a US dollar denominated deposit at the Deutsche Bank branch in say Frankfurt, that's euro dollar deposit. But not because it's dollars in Europe, simply because it's dollars outside of the United States. So similarly, a US dollar denominated deposit at HSBC, that is Hong Kong and Shanghai Bank and Corporations branch in Singapore, that would also be euro dollar deposit. In fact, even if there was a US dollar denominated deposit at Citibank branch in London, that's going to be a euro dollar deposit. Yes, I know, Citibank is US banking corporation. But Citibank's London branch is not regulated under U.S. banking laws. In fact, I'm not sure whether it's regulated under U.K. or offshore banking laws. But the point is, a U.S. bank branch located outside of the United States is not going to be considered a U.S. bank for purposes of our discussion here. So any dollar denominated deposit at a bank outside of the United States is a euro dollar deposit. Now, there's a big history behind that, which we'll just lift the cover on briefly. They're called Euro dollars because this market evolved in Europe in the aftermath of the Second World War. The Soviets, and yes, at the time it wasn't Russia, it was the Soviet Union, was building up huge holdings of dollars. Two of their primary exports, gold and crude oil, are typically traded globally in dollars. And of course, the Soviets were rather leery of depositing those dollars in a U.S. bank, given the, the geopolitical competition between the USSR and the USA, uh, with some reasonableness. The Soviets were afraid that if they deposited those dollars in a U.S. bank, their deposits could be nationalized and gone like that. So the Soviets went to some European banks and said, if we deposit these dollars with you, will you provide us with regular banking services, money transfers, credit lines, etc.? And since the Europeans were in such dire straits in the aftermath of all the destruction of the Second World War, of course, those European banks were quite happy to take those deposits on. Now, because they were, in effect, extranational deposits, they fell outside of the regulatory domain of the U.S. bank regulators. But therein lie the, the source of the efficiency of the euro dollar market. Regulations is one of the major costs of all financial institutions, especially banks. And without having to bear the cost and meet the regulatory reserve requirements, banks dealing in euro dollars found they could offer both higher deposit rates and lower loan rates and nonetheless make more money. In fact, it turned out to be such an, such an efficient segment of the banking industry that after a, an extra national market developed in dollars, uh, you saw a similar market spring up in almost all the major currencies. So Euro Yen, Yen denominated deposits outside of Japan. Euro Sterling, pound denominated deposits outside of the UK. Euro Franc, Franc denominated deposits outside of Switzerland. But that's all a Euro type of currency is. It's a deposit denominated in some currency that's being held in a country other than the country of issuance of that currency. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can go to our YouTube channel or Facebook page to see other videos on a range of investment related topics. Or you can go to the website, insidersguidetofinance.com. At our website, in addition to the free video shorts, there are a series of modestly priced in-depth training videos with running times of approximately one hour each that go into a number of subjects in greater detail. The website and Facebook page also contain information about open enrollment programs I will be presenting over the next few months and my recently released book, The Insider's Guide to Fixed Income Securities and Markets.